Okay. So hold on. Y'all don't need to see in my closet. But all right. I wanted to do something interesting since I have been trying to tap in to my Facebook market more. And I got this idea that, especially since I've been doing, I did that challenge where it was like the blonde hair versus dark hair. I just did the how we met versus now. And I've had several people um, say that I don't look my age. I'm actually turning 46 on Monday. I've had three children ages 23 to 13. And so I had, I was scrambling this morning and I really didn't get to do my uh, morning routine. I just kind of like swiped a washcloth and I thought, let me show you exactly what I use or how I take care of my skin. And I'm going to do this in such a way that I'm not promoting any products. You are welcome to send me a DM. I don't get paid to, for, to promote these products, but that has been my challenge. And almost every product that I'm going to be using, I have gotten somewhere or from someone in, to support their small business. So um, that will be the fun part because you can get these products from another person and support their small business. So first things first is I wash my face or wipe down my face with a microfiber cloth. Um, I do have cleanser that I use that's vitamin C. I, you guys, I was a hairdresser for 21 years. And so don't look at my hair. Um, probably that step one, it gets your shit out of your face. Oh, and don't watch my videos in front of children. Sorry, when you get to be 46 years old, you can say whatever the hell you want. Okay, but I'm gonna get my face, my hair out of my face. And it, this is gonna get interesting. So just, just wait till you see. So I take this microfiber cloth, I heat it, I just get it wet with warm water and I wipe down my face. Okay, there's no soap on here. I mean, side by side guys, okay? This is an, anti-microbial, whatever. It does, this cloth will not get bacteria. There is a cleansing soap that I use to clean it. So see, it's taking all the makeup off. But I don't have any cleanser on my face. Okay, so that is step one. Now again, if you get to be my age and you wanna look 10 years younger, I'm gonna tell you right now, for probably the first 30 years of my life, I only used Dawn, no, not Dawn. I used a bar, a dove, a bar of Dove soap to wash my face. Yep, I didn't use anything else. Last year, I did a couple rounds of Botox and then um, COVID hit. And I'll tell you, I do, it, do I do it right here because this is child one and child two. Child three, my baby, he gave me the laugh lines because he's so cute. Okay, so... I have wiped everything off. Again, no cleanser. Okay, so this is something you could get from somebody else. I thought, I knew I had a hair. Okay, now, if you want to have an even skin tone and eliminate bacteria, eliminate fine lines, eliminate the appearance of acne scars, um, Give your uh, skin an overall smoother appearance for makeup. Usually I use um, a BB cream that has, I always use a BB cream that has, BB is like a, a balancing beautifier kind of cream, but basically it is a um, sunblock with, that is tinted. So I could kind of show you guys. So see, it's tinted. And then when you rub it in, it's somehow magically, this is the only tone it comes in, it will match your skin tone. So that for the most part is what I use. We're gonna shave my face. You guys, if you don't dermaplane, this is different than microblading. Microblading is done in a doctor's office and dermablading is also can be done in a doctor's office and they're using a straight up, like straight razor. These you can get, I can show you this one. You can get in Sephora. You can also get on Amazon, okay? They're like $6. I think these were 14. It comes in a pack of three, okay? So this is a, a little blade. And what I do is I remove all of the peach fuzz, okay? My sister 
dared me to shave the corner of my lip when I was 12. So I get a patch of black hair right here. That's what if she ever watches this, I still remind her every single day. And then yes, as I've gotten a little older, some little suckers will come up and I'll usually tweeze those, but to get an even skin tone to allow the next products I'm going to show you to really absorb, to help firm and tighten my skin and not make me look almost 50 years old. I shave my face. Okay, so I'm gonna look in my other mirror. I pull back any little hairs so I'm not, and then I kind of, look at that guys. All of that little peach fuzz. Okay, so doing this, you could kind of see there's a little line, is gonna give you the appearance of more youthful skin, and it's going to make it an even layer for like your um, sunscreen, for any serums that you put on to really get into your skin because facial hair on women and men, but gives adds that extra layer so that you can't really, your skin can't absorb it. So by dermablading, you're just removing that and you just tighten it up. It also gets rid of any dead skin cells, because you can exfoliate, but sometimes exfoliants in like your cleansers or whatnot are very harsh. And I have a little bit of rosacea, so I have to be very, very cautious, okay? So we're shaving the face, guys. This is probably one of the most satisfying things that I ever, that I do. And I do this like, I do this probably like once or twice a month. I just kind of like watch to see, and I um, will hit my neckline. Um, if your skin is very sensitive or thinner, yeah, you, you can put um, a, <laughs> you could put a serum down and I'm going to talk about, you guys, I have the most amazing serum. It's life changing. Okay. I don't use very many products. I'm a product whore. I buy all the things, but it doesn't mean I use them. Okay. So let me go on this side. Oop, I got a little bit of that. You could use this thing on your back. Oh my God. If your husband has, yeah. If your husband has, um, like a hairy back and you're bored, <laughs> just um, just put on your favorite show and then just be hold on babe I'm gonna totally shave your back <laughs> um but look at that no and your skin you're not gonna break out it is so smooth no it doesn't this is different it doesn't it doesn't come back darker it doesn't come back spiky now like I said, my sister dared me to shave my upper lip when I was 12, so I have a patch right here, but this hair and right here is different because the skin is different than right here. So for whatever reason, this is a hormonal level. So like if you, you wax, yeah, and it comes back. This is not hormonal level. So your T-zone is right here, which those um, nerve endings and everything are connected somehow throughout our bodies to like our ovaries and our uterus and things. So when we have our periods, you'll notice that you'll get some like little breakouts. But the most important part is that this is clean, that your face is clean and what you put on afterwards, which I'll show you when I'm done shaving my face, which is like gonna be pretty soon because I do this pretty regularly. Then you can go down the line and this is not gonna like cut your jugular, okay? I'm just gonna tell you that right now. But like I get all these hairs right here because I used to like, uh, my hair was like really, really short, guys. And I used to, um, I had this whole side shaved and then it went down and I shaved and then it was dyed purple. You guys, I was like crazy. You have no idea. Well, maybe you do. And this is also great to do if you've gotten a facial tan, like you went somewhere tropical, whatever, and then your face is just starting to look ashy and weird because now your tan is fading. Do this. Your skin will brighten up. Everything, everything I do makes sense, I think. And like, if you ever notice you get a little congestion right in here, this helps open the pores so your skin can breathe. It's like your scalp can't breathe. You know how your scalp feels after you go and you get a really good haircut and your hairstylist has just like 
gone crazy on your scalp and your scalp feels all tingly and invigorating, it's because you've stimulated the area. It's the same thing. Your skin is just going to be like, okay, give me all the serums to make me look young and beautiful. I'm like, okay. Now, and then you can do the lip. Because, you know, we all have a hairy lip. I did you know, be cautious. This is probably better than like the pimple popper. And like I do use a neck cream. So like I make sure like I want my serums and everything to have like access to my skin. I don't want it to have to um, be cautious around your eyebrows. But <laughs> please do not come to me and say like I got rid of an eyebrow because that's not my fault. But I'm serious, like I, oh, I almost like got really excited there. So be very careful around the eyebrow. Else you guys would have saw me just lose a complete eyebrow. I don't care if I lose hair on the side of my head, that's fine. And this is great to use to like clean up your sons. Like if you have boys and you want to clean up around their little hairline, it's not going to cut them. It's all good. But you guys, it's like the most satisfying thing. You can also use these for your eyebrows. I just got my eyebrows uh, micro or no, threaded. But. Okay, let me just look up real close and then I'll show you guys what's next. Okay, so now my skin, I'm like really cautious around the cheeks because again, I have a little bit of rosacea. So that means it's really sensitive. Usually I don't have a hairy nose, so I'm not gonna worry about that. Okay, so I have like so much facial hair. It's so cool. Okay, so next what I do is I don't know if you've not heard of this miracle oil, you need to Google it. I do have a friend that sells it, but my goal is not to talk about and promote other people's products, including my own. So if you want to know about my outfit, you can send me a message. If you would like to know about this amazing oil that's from the um, Pomifera plant, it is the anti-aging miracle oil, okay? So I'm going to add this, but that's step four. Step one, whenever, where's it at? Whenever you're doing anything on your face, you start with your eyes, okay? So... Let me make sure you guys can't see. I'll shave your face. Oh my God, that'd be so fun. Okay, so eyes go first. Okay, so that's a little, I, and again, message me if you wanna know. Okay, use your um, ring fingers because due to genetics and whatnot, we can't put a lot of pressure using this finger. Okay, so I will just put the eye serum. You always go with your eye serum first because this is the most delicate skin and you want your, um, your, you know, brightening, tightening, whatever serum you're using. This one is um, called Timeless. And I always make sure your products, their number one ingredient is water. That means it's gonna be the most safe for your skin. So I feel like it's a little tacky. So that means it's getting in. The next thing is this. This is um, a collagen anti-aging face serum. So what I do actually first is it's called vitamin C. <laughs> you guys, this is vitamin C and hyaluronic acid, okay? It's called the Brighten and the Lifter. So I just take just a dropper full on my fingers, just rub it in. I'm so fancy, you guys. I have like nothing is tingling. Nothing is burning. If you feel a tingling or a sensation, you cut yourself somewhere. Which don't do that. Don't just come at your face with a freaking blade. Okay? Then, and get it all up in your neck. Vitamin C is like your best friend when it comes to pretty much your life. Especially right now. Then I take this. You can get it at Ulta. I can show you this because nobody... Um, but it's just a vegan collagen anti-aging face serum and it has hemp in it. Hemp is one of nature's miracle plants. Yes, there's a difference between a hemp plant and a weed plant. Google it. 
marijuana versus hemp. And then when you're in the all natural section of a store and it says hemp, buy it because it is so good for your body. It is, it's anti-inflammatory, anti-aging, helps lower stress, all the things, okay? All the things. Somebody just needs, I need to make a shirt that says all the things. I need a coffee cup that says all the things. I have Trader, no, I have Imperfect Produce, all the things that seasoning is so good. Last thing is my moisturizer. I have a daytime and a nighttime moisturizer. So I just take a little bit of this moisturizer. Um, again, I can't tell you what it is because somebody sells it. And then this Palmafera oil, oh God. And it's just, this is just one drop, one dropper full. I mix it in with my moisturizer. At night, it's the straight oil. And this is it, guys. This is how Mama has four kids, two dogs, a husband, runs three businesses from her home. And people don't believe that I'm going to be 46 years old. Okay? My face is so smooth. It feels all tingly. And I would say probably your last step, if you, especially since the sun is shining, is a tinted um, sunscreen. And so again, that is one that I get from another person. I'm all about supporting small business guys. Okay. Always write, always put your sunscreen on your eyelids. Okay. And also protect your lips. Because if your lips look like crap, I don't know what to tell you. I'm all about lip glosses too. I love lip glosses and chapsticks and all the things. Oh my God, there's that saying again. Okay. Also the back of your hands. You always get the back of your hands. Okay, guys. That is how you shave your face. And then you look 10 years younger. So if you have any questions, you want to know where I got all of those products, drop me a comment or shoot me a DM. But I'm pretty sure I satisfied my homework for today. Have a great day.